The following is a presentation of Rosenet TV, an internet TV channel for the borough of Madison, New Jersey. If the steps in the door to this dilapidated house could speak, they would tell some amazing stories. Like, for example, how the famous French general and American Revolutionary War hero, the Marquis de Lafayette, walked up and entered to attend a reception in his honor. The house, located at 13 Madison Avenue, was purchased in 2007 by local financial planner and Madison resident John Bodner, who remarkably is the first owner who is not a descendant of the original owner. Currently uninhabited and in disrepair, the house, as well as several hundred surrounding acres, were once the property of Hyacinthe Nicolas du Rêve Blanchet, a prominent member of Madison's local French community back in the 1700s. It was built and given by Blanchet as a wedding gift to his daughter and son-in-law. Since that time, the house has enjoyed an extraordinary history. The owners threw a reception for General Lafayette, who was visiting Madison in 1824 as part of a grand tour of the states at the invitation of President James Monroe during the celebration of the nation's 50th anniversary. The reception was quite a soiree for the time. Thirteen young maidens danced for Lafayette. And, showing a typical French sartorial flair, he also showed one of the young men in attendance how to tie an ascot. The house was also most likely the location where the vote was taken to change the name of the borough from Bottle Hill to Madison. The house, although in ruins, bears fascinating marks of early construction techniques, like these mortise and tenon joints held together by a wooden peg, and these bay windows and original brick fireplaces, which were used for heat. Bodner is attempting to restore the house and use it as an office for his financial planning business. He was unaware of the house's history until just before closing. I mean, Karen and I knew it was old, you know, and there's this joke that was going around that we actually told people, oh, we're going to, you know, it's so old, we're going to tell people that George Washington slept there. And once we started investigating a little bit, talked to people like Larry Tabor, met with the mayor, Mayor Marianna Holden, and they started telling us the real history of the house. We said, this is better than Washington <laughs> sleeping there. A few architects suggested that he simply tear the house down. But Bodner, inspired by the house's rich history, persisted. Um, two, two of the three architects that we met with told us we're wasting our time to knock it down. And one fella said, oh, this is great. We could do something really interesting with oh, this. Okay. You know, with, with my ideas and your money, Mr. Bodner, we could do this. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. Bodner is hoping that local planning officials will give full approval to the parking lot he is proposing on an easement owned by the local power utility which covers a portion of James Park. Bodner's idea is that the parking lot will help him preserve the house and yard area in its original form and also provide badly needed parking for visitors to James Park, not to mention preserve an important piece of Madison history. The project will be expensive, but according to Bodner, it's worth it. A uh, lot of time, a lot of money, um, but I think in, in the end it'll be worth it. You know, temporarily I'll be putting a uh, my, my historic enthusiasm ahead of my pocketbook for a while. But, uh, you know, it, 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 this will be a great, great project when it's done. You have been watching a presentation of Rosenet TV, an internet TV channel for the borough of Madison, New Jersey. Rosenet TV is a private enterprise operated independently of the municipal government of the borough of Madison, New Jersey. Any views expressed herein are solely the views of Rosenet TV and do not represent the views of the municipal government of the borough of Madison.